Hey there, Chooms. In celebration of Cyberpunk 2077's 2.0 and Phantom Liberty expansion launch, I went ahead and went on the lookout for a Xbox Cyberpunk official wireless controller. I was able to find this one in pretty great condition on Amazon, and I think it was like 50 bucks, but it was money well spent. I wish it didn't have some of these extra stickers, but you know, it is what it is. Popping open the box and taking a look inside, we can actually see the controller itself is in fairly good condition. It's missing the batteries, no surprise there. Not a big deal either. But this is not one of the new Xbox Series controllers. This was released in, I believe, 2020. So that would have made it, or maybe even 2019. So that would have had it been one of the Xbox One controllers. So as you can see, we have a nice chrome look over here on the left and on the right, we have black with scratches that say no future. So this controller does look really scuffed up, but just to let you know, it's not actually scuffed up. That was the way it was designed. So it came from the manufacturer like this. It's just part of the look. On the back here, we have a QR code with the hashtag 2077. We have textured grips. Now these are rubberized and they're very soft right there. So there weren't a whole lot of these Xbox One controllers that had the grips like this. We have gray on this side. Again, we have the chrome there. On the top, the left trigger and bumper are red to go with the interior of the joystick. And on the right, we have black and also matches that joystick. Pop and open the battery case. Nothing special on either of those sides. Here we have the Arasaka logo, Rig XT7 Pro, and not too much more on there other than, you know, no future. So this is a really cool looking controller. I don't have a lot of special edition Xbox One controllers, so this was a nice one to go ahead and grab. Oh, and by the way, in case I didn't point out, we have red letterings on the XYAB on a black background with like a clear button itself. Again, no share button because this is the previous series controller, but we do have the menu burger and the select. All in all, I think this is a pretty decent looking controller. I like some of the newer mock-ups they've done recently for CP2077 on the design lab that just go with the blue and yellow colors. They have a little bit more of a pop to them where this is kind of subdued. Well, I guess you really can't call chrome subdued, but this is more just weathered metal. And the Cyberpunk controller takes its place on the wall next to the Xbox Project Scorpio controller, the gray controller, and the Halo controller. The box itself is in relatively good condition. It's not in perfect condition, but this box is, you know, about three or four years old, so I can't be too upset about it. I'm Rob, thanks for watching. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe so you get notified for all of my upcoming controller unboxings. And an extra special thanks to all my YouTube members and Twitch subscribers whose support helps make these videos possible.